everybody so uh, welcome back to my channel and today I'll be doing a first impression review for a foundation this foundation was sent to me by a company called glow minerals and it is looks liquid foundation I I don't know how to pronounce it it Lux or Lux so yeah Lux uh, liquid foundation and it says it has broad spectrum of SPF 15 anti-aging diamond powder technology there's a little description about it um, it says uh, harness the light refracting power of diamonds to bend light for a soft ageless complexion with Lux foundation from glow minerals the mineral based makeup range created by dermatologists Lux liquid foundation applies optical physics to beauty as light passes through diamond powder it is reflected and diffused for visibly softer more radiant complexion so basically this is the diamond technology they have and uh, it is retailed near about 32.95 pounds which is near about 3075 Indian rupees I guess so this is the packaging it comes in black box like this the shade I have is brulee and it is made in USA by the way yeah and um, so it has a pump in it which is really very neat and very uh, hygienic so I'm gonna take I have just moisturizer on and uh, I have no primer on and no concealer so I'm gonna take uh, near about a pump or two okay so you can see it's a little bit runny you can see it's a little bit runny and I'll be doing one half one side of my face and then I'll be doing the another half of my face so I'm using my uh, Sigma F80 brush to blend this foundation and you can see my skin is pretty bad these days I have a lot of breakouts here and a lot of bumpiness redness also and yeah here as well so I'm gonna try this out hmm so coverage is very very good you can see there's no redness there's a little bumpiness of course you can't take change the texture of your face but you can always hide the color so yeah So I'm gonna do another side of my face and I'll see if I need another layer of this foundation or not. So I don't think so I need another layer for uh, any uh, more coverage and yeah um, but I will uh, double up it as a concealer uh, to my under eyes and one more thing I think that I the shade is a little bit on lighter side because I'm really really tan right now especially my forehead so uh, otherwise the look is flawless uh, the texture is very nice it's it, it feels very light I it doesn't feel I'm wearing makeup on so uh, I'm liking it right now especially the texture and the coverage as well so I'm gonna take foundation again and I'll double up it as a concealer the more the foundation is settling to my skin I'm liking it more all right so um, uh, I'm done with my foundation and I will not be setting with a powder because I do have oily to combination skin but it is winters here right now so I don't think so I need powder and it is not feeling as oily uh, so I'll be skipping powder right now it's 11 50 in the morning and I'll be doing my makeup I'll be checking with you later So I am done with my makeup and now the time is uh, 11.57, yeah I did a quick makeup and so uh, I am loving this foundation like uh, you can't even see any redness because I had a lot of breakouts recently and um, my skin is 
literally glowing and I think that's because of the physics they applied on this foundation uh, which is called diamond technology and I would definitely definitely recommend this foundation right now um, because I am loving the end result with this foundation. I'll be checking with you guys after a few hours later and I'll let you know my more review uh, and feedback for this foundation. Hi everybody, I'm back and right now the time is 5.14 uh, in the evening and uh, the foundation looks really really good. Uh, so excuse me for my lipstick, it's all worn out. Yeah, but foundation is very good. Like I really like it till now and uh, my blush, you can still see my blush on it. Mm, the stain power foundation is very good. It's been near about I guess 5 hours. Uh, now and it seems as fresh as it was in the morning so yeah till now thumbs up for this foundation and I'll be checking with you guys at the end of the day hi everyone I am back and right now it's 8 40 uh, in the evening and it's been almost eight to nine hours since I have put in, put on this foundation and it's still look good you can see there is very less redness on my zits here uh, it's not that red uh, as it was before it's it's still staying on my skin perfectly and you can see the blush is still there the highlighter is still there uh, but I think the dark circles are more prominent because it's not a concealer of course but so overall foundation is really really good i uh, was not feeling that i have makeup on it was not at all sticky not at all oily and i loved it and what i think that for that price if you're getting that quality it's very good like uh it's worth spending that much money it's it's still on expensive side but it's worth spending that much money because uh my skin is like really sensitive these days and uh, i am breaking out a lot and it worked very good uh, with this foundation so yeah that was it i would definitely recommend this uh, foundation and thank you for watching and please do subscribe and do let me know if you want to see more first impression review uh, of any kind of products just let me know in the comment box Thank you for watching and please do subscribe. Bye-bye.